Hey guys, it's Gabby and I'm doing J14's Instagram breakdown. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend took me to visit my nanny and pop up and they showed us this new like 1940s or 50s Mercedes convertible that they won in an auction. And I was obsessed with it because I love Mercedes and I love light blue cars. So as soon as I saw this car, I was like, hey, my sweater matches it. Can I get a picture in it? And my ex-boyfriend took that picture of me. <laughs> oh my God. This is when I met Alicia and Mia and Sierra. Nikki and I met them for the first time at this BeautyCon. I think it was BeautyCon summer 2013, New York City. And we just felt like the boss and we wanted a picture in front of a taxi. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, fun fact. This was like the second to last day of recording my album. And I was so sick with viral pneumonia and I powered through it. I could barely sing, like I had no voice. I like, couldn't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I had just gotten back from, from filming the Bahamas reality show and I was so sick and I powered through it. I did it and I finished it in that day. And I had a whole bag full of medicine, like Sudafed, Dayquil. <laughs> it was so bad, <laughs> but I did it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Oh, one of my favorite memories. So um, at the time, this is 2015, um, my publicist was the same as Selena Gomez's. And we both, well, she got invited to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show to perform and Nikki and I got invited to attend as guests. And she kind of set us up at the after party and she talked to us for like a solid 15 to 20 minutes. Like she was in no rush. She just wanted to talk and she was so lovely and so nice, so nice. Oh my goodness, my longtime idol. Okay, everyone always thinks like Ariana was my idol forever and she technically was. I mean, I've been idolizing her since 2013, but I've been idolizing Vanessa Hudgens since 2005. Fifth grade Gabby thought she was Gabriella. And so when I met her, I like cried. I've never cried so hard in my life. I was like shook. <laughs> oh, this is the same day I met Vanessa Hudgens. I was in DC to see Gigi. Um, the off-Broadway or the touring Broadway show. Uh, yeah, same day. This is when me and my best friend reunited after a year of having a fallout. This is a really good memory. These are all such good memories, except for the ex-boyfriend taking the picture of me first. We started that with a bang. <laughs> my heart. Uh, you're gonna make me emo. Okay, so that picture, Ariana and I were taking like Snapchats like in between takes. Like she pulled out her phone, we're taking pictures. I pulled out my phone, we're taking pictures. We're getting all good angles. And then she goes, wait a second. And she grabs her photographer with the Polaroid. And like, we took like two, I think. And then um, she texted me that picture and that's framed in my house, in my basement. Oh my God, everyone thought me and Colin got married in this picture. <laughs> But he was like, what, 19? Why would we get married at 19 and 22? I don't know. But um, this was for my, my college formal senior year. I brought Colin with me. I was still in college there. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, Machen. I love this woman so much. And her daughter is one of my best friends, Mina. Um, she's actually my best friend in LA, like the closest friend I have out there. And I haven't been to LA since last December. Um, so I cannot wait to go back out there again and see them and reunite. Like they're like my family on the other coast. I love them so much. <laughs> that relationship was so random. It, we were linked together through a makeup artist who I'm really close with. And she also does Machen's makeup. And um, my, makeup, my makeup artist, Emily was like, Gabby, you know, like you would really get along with this girl named Nina that I know. And I was like, you know what? I'm having a Bellamy like hair launch party tomorrow night, bring her. Like I'm open to having new friends in LA cause I don't have any here. And she brought Mina and then Mina brought Machen. And at the time I was a huge Riverdale fan and I didn't know that was her mom. Like I didn't know they were related. So it was like such an, like a crazy, crazy moment. Like, wow. The Bellamy hair extension launch party was a moment. <laughs> All right, guys, that was my interview. Make sure to check out Champagne Dreams on iTunes and Spotify, and I'll see you guys.